Now, biology has partially, officially begun. Starting from the right side, we will first review about atoms. You will need to study this chapter because it will be on your teacher's test. As for the SAT or AP test, I hardly see any question about atoms. Atoms are super tiny and everything in the world is made up of atoms. Even though everything are made up of atoms, it is the arrangement of the atoms that make things different. Like a car and a TV, they're both made of metal and wires, but it is how they are arranged that make them function differently. Even though atoms are small, there are still even smaller parts that make up atoms called subatomic particles. Latin root if you please, Naru. There are three particles, protons are the positive particles found in the middle, along with neutron which have no charge. Proton and neutron together are found in the center of the atom, called the nucleus. And finally, electrons are negative charges found orbiting the nucleus. Mr. Proton and Ms. Neutron was going out for a drink. After they finished, Mr. Proton asked the bartender how much his drink cost. The bartender said $4.25. Then Miss Neutron asked how much her drink costs. And the bartender said, For you, no charge. Atoms have special properties and are called elements. There are over 100 known elements. You will learn about them in chemistry. You know, that boring subject they teach you in high school. Biology is way much cooler. But you will when you take chemistry. Out of those one hundredths of elements, these are the ones mostly found in your body. 96% of the body contain these. The rest are found in minute amount, very little, and are known as trace elements. Know that for your teacher's test. Did you know there is more to learning science than good grades? Beauty Wow, Rudy, aren't you a bit early for class? I know, right? Everyone's so busy saving the world while Mr. Doe gets to teach biology. So, can anyone think of how science relates to beauty? <laughs> 